Hello my friends, my my friends, my name is Sir from 190. Today I am going to show you an automatic horse stand everything swapper machine, the simplified version, and as you can see behind me it is pretty pretty flattastic. I guide version. I'm not good with math guys, but I took out a few pistons and a few things that I thought were unnecessary to make this very simple and easy to build for people like me. Guys, so what I'm saying is, this is very easy, easy to do, and all the difference is, it's a lever instead of a button, that's literally- But keep in mind, this is my design, and if you guys would like to uh, shout me out to breakfast or lunch, I will happily concur. Alright guys, if you want to know how this is built, it's very easy, all you need to do is get a few stacks of redstone. You want some repeaters, maybe, maybe, maybe... Maybe three repeaters, one lever, we need about five sticky pistons. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, five sticky pistons. We need a block of choice and a dirt block and some glass for later on. And what else? What else? The slime block, guys. So what you want to do is dig a real big hole about yay big and about yay wide. Once you've accomplished this, this is where your uh, sticky piston's going to go. So right in the middle, put a sticky piston facing up with a slime block. Then all you need to do is get another slime block and put four. So put four slime blocks together like this and come back to your sticky piston and whack a repeater facing into the sticky piston. On no, oh one tick, right? So then put the redstone dust up here up a bunch of stairs to get to the top here with a lever so that when you push the lever you can see it goes up and <coughs> down. Okay, so now we want some unmovable blocks. You can use watermelons as Lord Redstone previously stated in his last video. Go check that out. Um, which I didn't know about that actually, but I like the look of obsidian, you can use stoves or ovens, basically any block that doesn't move. I call them stubborn blocks. So yeah, just I like the, so don't put one there, you don't want to block the circuit here, okay? So instead of that, let's put some obsidian across this way here and break the ones on the edge to conserve energy. All right, so now we have the basic design, let's flick it on and off and yes, it works. This is the first part, so welcome to the second part of the tutorial. Let's get started. So what we need is some more dirt blocks. Whack them between here so you can put some sticky pistons facing in. And uh, do it again. There we go. Okay, so now all we need to do is basically put some repeaters behind these sticky pistons in order to give them a charge from the lever. So we're going to use the same energy source. So put some dirt blocks on the sticky pistons. Build some steps down so that you can run some redstone all the way underground back to the circuit that comes from the lever here. So let's do the same on the other side. Oh, excuse my language, I'm French. Let's dig a little deeper down guys because deeper is better because you can't, you don't want to see the redstone on the top. Keep in mind this is a creative world flatland so I can't actually dig very deep. So this is the reason why it's kind of sticking up like this. It's the only reason why that's occurred. So anyway, let's connect these up real quick. So we need some more dirt blocks with some redstone and some more redstone and bring it kind of around and down if you can. The more you can do that, the better. It doesn't matter exactly where you put it. It, it doesn't really matter as long as you connect the lines together. That's the main thing. So let's do that on the other side as well. Oops, we got the same problem here. So we need some more dirt blocks here and here and just connect them all up like this. There we go. Dig down, some more redstone, and we're done! That looks pretty good. Wait, there we go. Wait, there we go. Alright, we did it. So, now when we click on and off, you can see that they both activate. So leave it off so that you have a floor. That's it guys, you did it. We're done, we're done, that's it. So let's test it out. Let's put some blocks here and here. Let's see if they swap. We want the white on the bottom. Where? hang on a second. It, it, whoa, hang on a second guys, there is a mount function, if you want to know what it probably is, is that there's not enough charge in your redstone, so basically, get two more repeaters out, like soap, and whack them both down like this, and you're good as ray, so basically, oh man, basic, I can't stop saying basically, it, it's just one of those things, so you got to click it twice fast, that's the only thing, that's the only difference, it's not going to be able to work with a button, um, I'll, I don't know, so I just think it's fine, Click, click, and they swap around. So you can do this with stands, horses, villages, animals, fenimals, friends, family, 
everybody and anything. Every item actually can be swapped. So what we want to do now is basically <laughs> cover up the whole design so it looks good and put some glass about three high because horses can jump sometimes a little higher than two. So let's make it three high, make it look good. Leave one gashing gap so that the horse can fit through when you're walking with the horse. Or when you're riding the horse, sorry, you could get in and out. Let's cover up the, the pistons. Let's cover up the pistons with regular... There we go. We don't want to see the pistons, so get rid of that. Put some solid blocks underneath there. Okay, so it, you know what? Let's get some carpet out and cover up by crouch placing. Don't disturb the repeaters. They don't need to be ticked at all. Don't tick them off, guys. And now all we need to do is make it look pretty, and it's done! Oh, wait. So we have, um... Yeah, we have a problem. Let's build steps up from that lever and put another circuit here with a lever. So it's a little closer to home. So break this lever here and connect the redstone dust. And we're... Now we're done, guys. Now we're done. That's it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a big hole here. You don't want a big hole because the horse will get through. So cover it up with an unmovable stubborn block. And we're done! Oh, wow, we're done. So now we can use stands and we can use horses. That is freaking amazing. I love this. This is pretty cool. If you guys think it's pretty cool, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with social media. It really helps my channel grow and it helps me grow. I'm getting taller every day. Thank you, guys. I'm Seraphim190. Peace out. See you guys tomorrow.